Hi guys, so welcome to today's plan with me. So this is going to be a weekly plan with me for the week of July 9th through 15th. So last week, as usual, it's a rewind spread. So the kit I have today is called Back to School and it's by Bling Bling Planner. Same as last week, I really love her kits. So um, I've got all four sheets of the kit right here. As usual, I have my weekly sheet that I'm going to pull in, some extra stickers, and a mini sheet that I printed out. This one's not actually in the shop yet, but um, nor is it like the full sheet. I didn't have room because I was printing it on the same page as this one, so that was all that fit, and that's all I think I'll need for a while. So these are the ones I'm going to be working with today. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and get started with putting down the full boxes and then I'm probably going to go in and do the checklists and I might do some of the bottom washi and date covers also off camera because I don't really have like too much to talk about so this isn't going to be like a super chatty plan with me so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then speed it up and then I can get into the day by day. Okay, so I'm just popping in to say that I've done all the full boxes and the glitter headers and the to-do lists. As you can tell, I do not have a lot of to-do list items for the past week. In fact, the first two days I didn't have any at all, but I put down the full checklists um, just to kind of take up space so that I could layer other stickers over them if needed. And if I didn't have enough, then there would still be something taking up that space. Um, so. What I also didn't talk about before is that I chose the back to school kit because obviously um, I started my French class last week, I've mentioned that in my previous videos, but that officially started on Tuesday, even though I began work on it the, the previous week. Like I think I may have some, um, some yeah, I have like French stuff on there. But yeah, it was the official first week of this class. So that's why I'm using the back to school kit and it's really pretty. So now that that's done, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the sidebar and then I'll do the bottom washi and date covers like I said. Okay, so I have all of the sidebar, washi, date covers, and the weekend banner down. Um, so for the sidebar, usually I'll have my little purchases um, sticker right here, but I forgot to print that off this week, so I just kind of had to improvise. So I put two by, and then a I cut a checklist into four. So I'm just going to use that for that. And I really love the date covers this week and the little heart numbers that fit like perfectly into their spots so that is super adorable um 
I'm not going to do the flags yet. I'm going to do that probably with the de deco at the end. Um, I also have these like enormous boxes here that I don't think I'm going to get a chance to use because they just take up too much space and I'm kind of busy this week. So um, same with this washi here. Actually, no, I like this washi. I think I'm going to see if I can put it kind of at the bottom. There, I like it in the middle. What I like to do is just kind of layer it instead of like cutting the actual bottom washing in half by just like putting this over it. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, normally if I had remembered I would have done this kind of sped up, but I didn't, so you get to see me put that down. Um, this side, I don't think I will because I don't want to interfere with the weekend banner unless I can put that over the other washi. So let me see if I can do that. Honestly, I should probably like think ahead and actually put the weekend banner like in the actual day instead of covering the washi, but I never think about that when I'm putting down the full boxes and the to-do list, so I never leave myself enough room. But this is fine. That's good enough, okay. So that's that. Now I think we can probably get into the day by day. So let's go ahead and do that. So on Monday I actually do not have a whole lot going on at all. So let me just mark down what I did do. So I did French homework. I'm going to put that kind of first. Um, French homework, work, and then it rains. So that's like literally all I have to mark down. So let me see if I can use some of these decorative boxes here. Actually, no. What I'm going to do is put this here. And then layer a... Wait, that didn't cut very well. There we go. Put this one up here. So I can put homework right there. Again, I'm doing the no white space playing because I have tons of decorative kind of headers and boxes that I can use. So I'm going to do that and then let me use a work so I can layer that right there. Yeah, and these, these work um, stickers are in my shop right now, my Etsy shop. This is part of the college kit that I did just reformat, but I'm probably going to release that next week. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and the only other thing was that it rained, so I'm probably going to put that down here. Let me just grab my stickers that I forgot to get out. Um, there we go. Hang on. Alright, yeah, because I like I don't have any like real to do's, so I can probably get away with using a big rainbow because that's the biggest sticker on the sheet. Hmm. Maybe I can like layer this girl in front of it. That's really cute. Oh my gosh, good decision. So that is really honestly everything for Monday. Um, so then Tuesday was a little bit busier. So I did do French on Tuesday also. So let me get down French homework.
I'm actually gonna lay it right here because again I didn't have any real to do's on Tuesday so I did that um, also had dinner at my grandma's house um, I was gonna use hang on where's my sheet with all of my little there we go so I was gonna use like a meal icon but or a meal strip that doesn't really take up enough space I don't think so I only have like four half boxes though but I do have these and I've like never used these before in a spread so I might just do that um let me do one of these and then instead of like an icon there or something, I actually did print off the same clip art of somebody that looks like my grandma that I used in a previous spread. So I'm just gonna do that again. Okay, so that'll be good for that. Um, also did grocery shopping so I do have these little groceries that I want to use um, let me just pull one of these so I think I'll do the diamond because I can never really think of anything else to use these for so do that do I actually have a Grocery icon here. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so good. Then I can just go with my original plan of doing this. So that'll be for groceries. Um, I also got Happy Mail. So pretty sure it was a book again. Hang on, I know I have a. A little envelope that I like using for that and doesn't want to come up. Let me see if I have any I do have books icons so I might just do that. Right, I have so many little strips I need to see if I have anything bigger to put down. Um, I'm gonna put this down here because I do want to fit a half box in there. So let me do that. Put my stack of books. I'm always getting books. Put it up there. Okay. Maybe my Happy Meal script would fit in there. I'll see if it fits later. I did reformat that sheet to put it into the shop so that there is a smaller Happy Meal script that should fit in there, but I didn't actually print that one out yet, so I don't know for sure. Alright, then I got a half box because I was going to definitely put that down behind here. now it's covering up the groceries okay so before I put the grocery icon back down there I do want to put a decorative header behind there so that I don't leave any white space you know I me mean? no white space if possible so let me just grab a pink one yeah these aren't like cut perfectly because I did have to cut these with an exacto knife because my silhouette refused to register the uh, the marks the registration marks it did for two of the sheets it did not for the other two and I was cutting them at the exact same time of day in the exact same light settings I don't know what its problem was but that's what it did so um, I have two more things I have to put on this day, 
so they are a pedicure and the fact that I got to have some cuddle time with my cat so I actually do have a sticker sheet for that it's not in the shop yet I should have been prepared I'm, I haven't like gotten any of these other stickers out um, except for the ones that I showed you so I'm just like rifling through all my stickers right now and trying to find it oh my god it's the, literally the last sheet in my binder all right so this is also an oops sheet so I kind of wanted to use it up hmm the big one might be a little too big but I did want to use that one because it was the oops one so I'm just gonna see if I can fit it anyway yeah I can like cover up the um, that decorative header a little bit I don't care All right, good enough. Okay, so now I wanted to do a pedicure. So I have this nail polish here and pedicure. Hmm. Let me see where the pedicure can fit because maybe I can just do it here. Let me put down the nail polish first and then like kind of layer it. There we go, that way I'm not really taking up any extra space. Okay, so that's everything for Tuesday. Now let's go into Wednesday. So, let me see. Uh, again, not very many things. I did film last week's weekly plan with me on Wednesday so I'm gonna make sure that's down and then I did a lot of printing and cutting before that obviously so I could have stickers to use for the video so I'm going to use a half box I wish this kit came with more half boxes like four is too little for someone who doesn't do white space planning um, and I have my own print and cut stickers, but I there's also one that comes with the kit, so I'm going to use that one first. Um, hang on, I'm going to use my little icons before I put that down so that um, I can put this on top. So let me just grab the printer and the silhouette. And then we'll just do print and cut like that. Okay, that's good. And then oh, I took a nap, and that's really the only other thing I did. Um, I would use another like half box, but again, I only have like two left, so I'm really going through them. Let me see. I kind of want to like use almost like another full box so I'm gonna cut this one I'm gonna put it down and then cut it so it just takes up the rest of the space and kind of like pretend this is another full box almost I don't know exactly why I'm cutting it wow that is very very off on this side I feel like I'm just gonna keep making it worse um, let me try that one more time. Okay, that's good enough. Just can barely tell. Let me just get this off here. I haven't used any whiteout so far in this spread. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I mean, you can't really tell. This should be fine. So, let me see what I want us to do for nap time. I did print off 
kind of like nap time stickers here. Do I want to do them in a box? Well, not really, because I'm not going to write in it, so I already have the script here, so I think it's okay to just layer the stickers over the full box that I just created. No, I don't like that, because you can't like really see it. It doesn't look like it's an individual thing, it just looks like part of the full box. So I am going to use one of the, um, one of the kind of quarter boxes almost. Yeah, I'm going to have to put it down here. I know I want to put it on the pillow on this side and kind of that icon space. That's a little better. Alright, so that's Wednesday. How about Thursday? Um, Thursday I did filmed another video. So let me grab that. I'll just put it right at the top. So Thursday I had to film a, um, an introductory video for French. It was in English though, so it was a lot easier. But that's what I did. I also had a webinar. So many webinars these days. Um, so I'm just gonna grab this little TV icon, TV strip. Just stick that down there. Hmm. Okay, so I read, or I finished reading and then reviewed a book. So I'm going to put those kind of next to each other. For my book blog. I have a lot of blog sites going on. Um, and then I also printed off these little stars so I could do a kind of star rating on it. This is like something that I think I would need tweezers for. I've never used tweezers in a video. So I'm gonna save that and do it kind of at the end when I do deco. So I just wanted to have that down for now. So I finished that. Um, let me see. So I played Minecraft on that day. Um, I had a bath, and then I also shaved, so let me see. Okay, I believe there's a bath icon in here. Hang on, I want to get the Minecraft down. Let me just see, like, where it could fit, because I want to see if it's going to fit down here. It could if I, like, layered it over the bottom washi a little bit. Or I could just put the the bath one down there. I think I might just do that. And then put this up here. So let me just kind of use this as a background. Again, I have to cut it a little more evenly. Oh, that did not cut all the way. I think it's the scissors. They're like only really sharp at a certain point. Wow, that fits like perfectly. Alright, so I did Minecraft, I'll have that there. And then bath time. It is one that I have to write on, so let me see if I want to use another one of these. That is going to be too big to put it there. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna... I don't know though, because that space looks like almost too big for just like a, a decorative header. 
But again, I need to be able to write on it, so I wouldn't do that anyway. Um, let me do a darker pink because I haven't used one in that space yet. And yeah, I'm gonna have to do two. Ugh, now I have to like write on two stickers. Eh, I'll figure that out later. Okay, let me grab this bath sticker. Actually, that's not too bad because I can just write bath on the first one and then time on the second one. Alright, and the only other thing I had to do was shave. So let me... Yeah, this was the, um, the little kind of mini sheet that I printed off here. Um, I can't put it into do because I already have one. It's going to have to go up here. So I can use a decorative header. I wonder if I can just use one of these. I think I will, because like the half box was really just there to be a, a background. It wasn't like actually meant to be a full box. Um, okay. Now I can use a big razor because like I have nothing else that I'm, I would be covering up. I need reasons to use my bigger stickers because um because I'm often so busy on my days that I don't have space to fit them in. So let me just write that shave. Okay, so that sheet is done. Um I think my rainy day sheet is done, so let me get that over there. Oh no, turn my light off. There we go. Okay, so that's Thursday, three more days, we're almost there. Okay, so Friday, I had a phone interview for an internship. So let me just do one of these guys. And then, let me see, I don't have a phone icon there. I'm just making sure because I printed one off and I just didn't want to use it if I had missed one in the original kit. So there's my little phone icon. So that'll be for that. Um, alrighty, I did place an order. Let me get a decorative header first to put in the background for that. Which one now? We'll do this one. If I can get it up. These were really hard to cut with the X-Acto knife because you would have to make so many little cuts. So I just kind of just went down this way and this way without like cutting out each individual box. So that's why there's so many like little strips. Let's get that done. And then my online order tracker, which you haven't seen yet. That'll also be in the shop eventually. It's pretty detailed. I only use it for like really big orders that I'm excited about. Which makes sense because this was my first Scribble Prints Co. order. Like from our actual website, not from the buy sell trade. Um, and I'm really, really excited about that. It was a big order. So I'll haul that when it comes in. It hasn't even shipped yet, so I'm not expecting it anytime soon. But that's what's going to be for that day. Um, let me see, so I did some work too, so let me grab another of these decorative letters. I love this, I love this idea of just having so many of these, because it makes it super easy to do no white space, and because like a lot of my stickers just have the words cut out on an outline at the top, so you don't want to put that against white because then like you can barely see it, you want to layer it. So that's why these are so handy dandy, these decorative headers. Um, okay, so let me grab another work. What color do I want to do? I'm going to do the blue because I don't have a lot of blue on this day. 
Okay, so I did work. Um, I read a book, so let me get my last little read strip, and I'll put that here. Hmm. Let me find, yeah, okay. So we're gonna put another bigger, oh, come on, the stickers do not wanna stop sticking to my fingers. I'm gonna do another bigger decorative box to kind of fill up this space a little bit. Oh, I think I just like forgot to cut the edge off here and that's why this white thing isn't coming off. Alrighty. Yeah, I can't wait for the day that my silhouette decides it wants to be consistently good. That would be nice. Hmm, okay. Let me see what I want to do with that empty space there. I could do... Hmm. I'm probably going to do another one of these. These are really useful. I've also noticed that like I have so many of these flag checklists that I never use. Like it just doesn't occur to me. It's not part of my system yet. I only like the box checklists. But see with all these principal kits I have just like so many extra stickers and types of stickers that I feel like they're like going to waste because like I really can't use these uh, these kits for two weekly spreads because there's not, you know, enough full boxes and everything. But, um, I might use them for a type of pre-planning that I'm considering. So I'll still do, like, memory planning, but I'm, I would just add on pre-planning because I already have the stickers printed. It's like, it wouldn't be like a whole kit, but I'd still be able to use them and I'd still be able to film it. So that would be good. Alright, so this was another, um, another cuddle time with my cat. So let me... Oh, I don't know about that placement because it's gonna cover up the read thing. Um, unless I just put it like that. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Yep. Alright. So let me check to see if that's everything on that day. Oh no, I also booked a flight. So I actually have stickers for that, but um I do need to put down a sticker in the back. Hmm. Oh, there goes my stomach. I must be hungry. So I'll just use a blue one. Because it kind of matches a little bit. And once again, I forgot to get out my book flight, or my, my travel sheet. Which, again, isn't in the shop yet. But it will be eventually. So I also have flight trackers here, but um, the main thing is my book flight one that I want to use. So yeah, this is, like, is also an oops sheet, which is why I'm using it. You're pretty much only going to see me using oops sheets for now. So let me just get that there, and then... I have a travel day sheet with character stickers on it, but um, you haven't seen that yet. That will also be in the shop eventually. So that's that. Now let's get on to Saturday. So Saturday. Let me see. I have a lot going on on Saturday, so I'm probably definitely going to have to cover up this full box a little bit. So let me just use my French stickers first. So 
So I did a partner chat in the very morning with my professor in French. And then I had a French test that I did right after that. Hmm. Let me see. So I did work. I worked on trying to open my Etsy shop. My new release video came out on Monday, if you haven't seen that. But yeah, so my shop officially opened this week. Um, what else can I put down? So, oh yeah, I did film too. I don't remember what I filmed, but... It wasn't the new release video. Or was it? Hmm. Well, I guess it must have been. Okay, yeah, that line is showing through. I'm gonna wipe that out. Oh, I made it so far into the spread without getting out my white out. Alright, good. So I filmed. And then walk dog, wrap gift, and nap. So those are the only other two things I have to put. Um, hmm. I think for walk dog, I can just layer that over a decorative box because I have a script for that. That's from one of my previous weekly sheets. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use a small, small doggy. So I locked him, and then what did I use for my previous nap time? Yeah, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing for this in that time. Oh no! Okay, so we've got that. And then I wrap the gift. Um, I don't think I have a gift icon, nor did I think to print one. Well, there's a box. I can use that because, I mean, it is in a box. So I'll do that. Oh, wow, I have two, like, half boxes that I haven't even used, and I was so worried about not having enough. Um, so I'm just going to... I need to fill up this space, so. Just gonna put that there. Oh my gosh, this is just insanity. So many little strips. Yeah, this is probably going to be a longer plan with me than last week. I was so proud that I had managed to save off, like, shave off like 30 minutes. But this spread is just obviously chaos. So it's not going to be quite as short. I will speed up the beginning. But there's a lot of trial and error. I didn't really plan too far ahead for the rest of this. So let me grab... One of these. I'll do this pink one here. Okay, and then the last day. The last day was super busy, so I may have hinted in my monthly spread that I had a very special person coming to visit, so he came in Saturday night and we hung out all day Wednesday. So we did tons of stuff. So 
definitely gonna have to use my space wisely here. So I am gonna use this half box. Um, I don't think I had any to do's. Yeah, I didn't have any, so I'm gonna just kind of layer over that a little bit. Um, hmm. I did do a little bit of cleaning though, so I'm gonna mark that before I forget on the to-do list. Here we go. Um, so I was going to mark down that we went to the mall. So I was gonna use one of my plain shopping bags. I have a lot of shopping bags with logos on it, but um, I had to use a plain one for the mall because we went to Barnes & Noble and I didn't have one with Barnes & Noble. So yeah, the only thing I bought was a book. Um, I think I was going to fit that in there too. Let me see. We ate dinner out. So I'm going to use one of these strips. And then we saw a movie. I actually saw The Incredibles 2, which I saw last week, I think, but he hadn't seen it, so I had to show it to him. And he really liked it. I was going to use popcorn over that. And what else? Um, so... We watched TV and did a puzzle, and those are the only two things I have to fit, so. Hmm. I'm gonna grab a TV box. I think I'm gonna have to do some layering here. So, I should have some Some of these bigger decorative boxes left. So let me just fit those in. I'm actually just gonna layer the two that are cut from the same image so it kind of looks like it fits. It's good enough. And then, yeah, so the last thing I had to put was that we did a puzzle. So I have that cute little puzzle image and puzzle done. I'm going to put that lower because I have some other stickers that I wanted to use for us. So I got some custom ones printed, which are really cute. Um, Let me see, so we were only watching TV, I wanted to do this one right here, and yeah, when we had dinner, it's obviously going to be this one here. Hmm. And then we'll use one of these cute ones for when we went shopping at the mall. Okay. So I think that is that. Um, as usual, I saved the deco for last. And I have a lot of like extra little dividers and stuff that I didn't use. I also didn't use like any of these coupons not coupons, sorry, icons. Um, hang on, I have, wow. I have this one for like grocery shopping that I could do, but I think I already used one that like came with it. Yeah, I don't really need to put any more of those. And so I guess I'll just have to save those, but for all the like deco and stuff that's left over, 
I'll find places for that. I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back and kind of show you what it looks like. Okay guys, so I finished putting all the deco down. There was some big deco that I put down here. Some little hexagons that I just kind of scattered where I could. Um, smaller deco I put up here. I did use uh, more of the script stickers that I could. So plan, payday, me time, cleaning, shopping. Um, and then I love these little bow dividers that I put here. I actually have some that I will put in my shop eventually, but these were the ones that came with the kit. I really love them. Um, some little banners here. I think I only put one down. I did put down all of the smaller flags in like the corners and stuff. So there's some there. I And I put down the big flags here too, of course. So that is, I think, the finished spread before I write on it. So... I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and I will come back and post pictures of the finished spread as usual uh, and I'll put that at the end of the video. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do, that would be great. And um, definitely watch my new release video. If you're interested in what I sell in my Etsy shop, right now they're all digital stickers. Uh, there's a signing sign up list you can get on if you want to be notified when I start selling physical sheets I'll put that in the description box below so thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video ciao